Hey loves and welcome to my channel. As you see from today's title, we are going to be doing some Aura nails, which are super in right now. Um, these are the acrylics that I'm going to be using. Um, I thought they were like a perfect contrast of each other. And this is my very first time doing these type of nails. So I hope you guys enjoy. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment what video you would like to see me do next. And let's get started. So... The two acrylics are from Not Polish, and they are in the colors Nightcrawlers and Hotline Bling. The nail forms are also from Not, Not Polish, sorry. And um, the acrylic brush and the monomer are from Kiara Sky, and I'm going to be sculpting them out. I like to do sculpted nails because it kind of shows you guys how I work with my acrylic. No matter the weather, you guys, I have to go with the flow because of how hot it is right now. But these um, acrylics are just super easy to work with regardless. And they're really pigmented. There's no marbling. They're really easy to work with. Perfect for beginners. And not only that, you guys can use them as acrylic and as dip powder. As you know, I don't do dip nails, so I only use them as acrylic. But they work perfectly because they are meant to be both. They come in two ounce containers, so they last a really, really long time. I've had these for so long. Yeah, I don't do full sets with them because I mostly do like practice sets on myself or like one finger, but like they last a long, long time regardless because of how big the containers are and how much product is actually in it. So we are sculpting the entire nail using the blue color and you can mix any colors i've seen nude with yellow i have just seen so many variations of this aura design and i think it's really really cool i know people that also do it with like airbrush technique i've never tried airbrushing nails maybe that's something i should try but i wanted to do it all with acrylic powder and see how it turned out now like i said this is the very very first time that i'm trying this out based on like a pic quick picture that i saw on pinterest and so i was like super excited to do it and i did get a request saying that you guys wanted to see aura nails and they're super in right now so yeah it doesn't have to be this exact color just something that contrasts the bottom color that you're using and it'll work perfectly i'm sure it'll look amazing so like i said i'm sculpting the nail i'm doing about four beads for this nail and I'm so glad that I did this video pretty early in the day. So it was hot, but not as hot as it would have been if I would have done it later on in the day. So it came out really, really nice. And um, like I said, it was easy to work with. And you can see the consistency of the acrylic was so much easier than these past few videos that I've posted because the weather was on my side at that moment. <laughs> um, and then I'm going closer to the cuticle area from a very last bead. And then we are going in with the pigment color which is hotline bling it is um it is a pigment acrylic meaning that it is like thinner like it's so hard to explain but like the consistency of the blue and the consistency of the green are different because it's so much more pigmented so much more concentrated with pigment the green is and so it's just very thin um a little bit of it goes a very long way and i picked up a smaller bead than usual because i wasn't apply it to the middle of the nail you basically want to pick it up apply it to the middle of the nail and then like blend it up and down but do tapping motions because i tried blending it up and it kind of started looking like an ombre and i was like freaking out i was like no i don't want that you want it to be like a very um very prominent like circle right in the middle but then blend it up to where it's not a harsh circle in the middle. So all I did was I tap, tap, tapped up, and then I tap, tap, tap down, and I kind of cleaned off anything that got blended towards the bottom or the cuticle area because I obviously don't want it to look like that. So it worked out that way. Um, and then I just cleaned off the bottom. You'll see me doing it right here with my acrylic brush and cleaned off the top. And what I did is I applied two extra um, beads, very, very wet beads of the blue because I kind of wanted to 
blur it if that makes any sense i didn't want those harsh lines i still felt like they were a little bit too harsh so i went in with one and i felt like it was too little of the acrylic and then i went in with a second bead of the blue to kind of go over the entire nail but obviously not cover it up just kind of blur it out with that color so like i said use a very very wet bead if you're gonna do this and i think it looked amazing i think it looked really really cool like it actually blurred it out and it gave me that perfect aura vibe that i was going for and then i'm gonna go in with my not polished clear acrylic and i'm gonna go over the entire nail just to encapsulate it all and then um i'm gonna go in with my e-file and my hand file and then we're gonna go in with the top coat and we're basically done with the aura nail so i hope you guys finish watching this video let me know what video you guys would like to see me do next um, I ha I'm having a lot of fun with these how-to nails because not only am I doing new stuff, but it's stuff that you guys want to see as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and on my website. Go check it out, Crafts by Nine. We have our sales of the week, which are always amazing. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys try it out. Make sure to tag me on your Instagram if you guys tried it out after watching this video. I would love to see them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.